you got no projections whatsoever. You got a pig box that's gonna catch on fire and kill somebody. I'm gonna be sued in the Stone Age. Hello, sharks. My name is Maddie Salen, and my product is called Wake and Bacon. <laughs> I'm asking for $40,000 in return for 20% equity. So while I was getting my master's degree at NYU University, I took an introductory electronics course where we had to make a device for the home. And I wanted to remake an alarm clock. And so I canvassed my fellow students, asking them what their ideal way to wake up was. Now, I can't say what the number one answer was on television, <laughs> but the close second was the smell and taste of bacon. And so inspired, I went home and I built the world's first alarm clock that actually wakes you up with bacon. <laughs> Here's how it works. So the night before, you open up the chamber and you put in a couple of slices of pre-cooked bacon and then you set the alarm for say 7 a.m. The next morning at 6.50, the clock silently turns on and it heats up the bacon to a crisp so that the smell is really strong and can wake up any <laughs> bacon lover. You can then actually just roll over in bed, open it up, and eat the bacon yourself. You can cook the bacon and then eat it. That's right. Shut up. <laughs> I'm serious. I built this and I thought it was a lark, so I posted it on my website and Wake and Bacon went viral. I've been inundated with hundreds and hundreds of emails of people who are begging me to sell them one. And so with the money I'm asking for, I want to redesign this for mass production and get a functional prototype so that I can go pitch this to retail partners and manufacturing partners and investors. I've actually got an artist rendering of what it could look like if mass produced. Notice the hooves. And this is what it looks like with the tray open. And the cord is a little corkscrew. I thought of everything. <laughs> Can we try it? If oh, absolutely. Any... In fact, um, I've got some for you right now. Hey, Maddie, I, I love the face of the pig. Do you have a slogan for this or anything? Rise and swine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> Maddie, how long does it take to cook? Uh, it takes 10 minutes to reheat. So, Maddie, what happens when we've sold 10,000 of these and the 10,000 and first catches on fire and burns the couple to death in their bed? Well, it, needs, it, it has to be UL listed, which means it's safe for the home for yeah, any electronic Yeah, I'm going to ask device. you, do you think they want an oven cooking bacon next to a bed? Well, you know, there's the uh, Easy Bake Oven out there. We're not next to somebody's bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. You don't know where a kid's going to put the Easy Bake Oven. If they, if they made it through that, then I'm sure that I can find a way to get this UL listed and safe for the home. This is a novelty item. Yes. You think you can sell how many units? I'm not sure. I don't have a projection of how many units I could sell. At least throw out a forecast, say, 1.26 million in the first quarter. Even if you're lying to me, at least that's interesting. You got no projections whatsoever. You got a pig box that's gonna catch on fire and kill somebody. I'm gonna be sued in the Stone Age. I'm out, but I'll give you 100 bucks for the pig box. Is the pig box for sale? Uh, no, it's the only one I have. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, I think your idea is whimsical and it's a great novelty gift. Thank you. That's my compliment. I don't think anyone really wants to have bacon that close when they're waking up. I think they like smelling in the kitchen that mom's making, so I'm out. All right. I'm taking my piece of bacon and I'm out. All right. I like, I like bacon. Uh. Get on it, in or out. I'm out. All right. Let me ask you this, Maddie. What do you think the minimum production run is? Um, I think it's 10,000 is the lowest I can go. So that means if your full cost for these is 15 bucks a unit, basically? 13 bucks a unit, so it'd be $130,000. Where is that money coming from? That's where I need to partner with a retail partner or a manufacturing partner or an investor. You Mark, you're to not know. gonna put your name on this because I'm gonna sue you into the Stone Age after my bed catches on fire. I know how to buy insurance. So we can deal with that. The bigger problem that I have, literally, and being very interested is you needed $170,000. You only asked for 40. I'm now asking for $170,000. <laughs> Mark, are you really interested in this? I like the idea. You really think cooking bacon bedside is a good idea? It doesn't matter. If I had to guess, the percentage of people who would actually make bacon, I'd say 
And if I had to guess the number of people who would make bacon twice, I'd say zero percent. How many percent set the house on fire? Well, that's one. The, the point, though, is they're not going to use it to make bacon. This is going to be a present for Dad because it's so darn stupid. <laughs> And Mark Cuban puts his dough into stupid ideas. Is that what I'm hearing here it's today? It's a gag gift. The problem is, I'm not going to put up the 130000 That's the problem. Because of that, Maddie, I'm out. All right. Thank you for your time. OK, I'll give you 200 bucks for the pig box. Listen, I think I'm going to save children by doing that. We're going to put that in my museum of really bad ideas that can kill people. OK, 300 bucks for the pig box. Maddie, thank you. Thank you. Good luck, Maddie. Good luck, man. Thank you. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. You've come to the right place.